we start with pruning. Uh, this is the year coming into the on-crop. If there's any structural wood, any removal to do, this is the year to do it because we don't want to do it coming into the off-crop. So we talked about what structural wood needed to come out this year. We then talked about how many buds we wanted to leave in the tree. And um, I talked about setting bud loads at somewhere around two and a half buds per fruit. The idea of that is that if we then chemically thin the tree really hard, uh, we can try and get the crop down to, so that at least half of the spurs actually have no fruit on them. Because it's the fruit that's, that's carried on the spur that turns the bud off for the following season. It's the hormones coming out of the fruit seeds that turns it off. So if we can have half of our spurs resting, then they're more likely to produce fruit the following season. So uh, we, we talked about pruning technique to keep the tree calm. That's important, low vigor, we need that. Uh, setting it up with the right number of buds. But then I said pruning's only just one part of the jigsaw. Uh, a very important part of the jigsaw will be next spring when they've got all this tree covered in beautiful blossom is to chemically thin it really hard. So uh, combination of all the products we know help return bloom. Ethyl, ATS, um, BA, maybe BA mixed with carbaryl, uh, maybe Brevis which is the new chemical thinner that's shown to be quite effective. So we'll need a good aggressive chemical thinning program because we need to get the fruit load down on the tree as soon as possible. If we wait till hand thinning, we're far too late. So that's the next step in the equation. Then the third step I mentioned is that a biennial crop of Fuji in its on crop almost should be the first crop that you hand thin. Uh, you need to get the seed load on the tree down to a, down to a level as quickly as you possibly can. So just because Fuji's harvested late don't think that you can hand thin it late and the on crop of fuji you've got to hand thin it early so uh, i'd give a recommendation that the fuji in their on crop should be all finished hand thinning by the middle of december uh, which is probably a lot earlier than they've ever done before um, and then on top of that there's just a few extra tricks uh, that they can do um, We've decided on this block not to root prune, but root prune is, a, is effective if the trees are very vigorous, because you've got to get vigour out of the tree. If you're going to get regular crop, you've got to get vigour. But we've decided here that to put a girdle on the tree uh, about the end of November, early December, would be a useful technique. To use the summer NAA program that Dr. Steve McCartney brought to Australia uh, several years ago, and several growers are finding it's very effective. Um, those treatments will just add to those good fundamental basics. But if you do everything, then the chance of Greg getting a good crop this year and a good crop next year are really increased.